Hey there students, in this paper we're going to be going over an example on how to uh, calculate limits and also how to address the issue of continuity at a point where there is a kind of discontinuity. Alright, so let's take a look at um, the problem. So consider the piecewise defined function. This is example one. Um, if f of x is a piecewise defined function given by um, 1 over x plus 3 minus 1 over 3 over x when x is not equal to 0 and um, 3a minus x when x is equal to 0 the task is to find two things a part uh, find the limit as x approaches 0 of this function Okay, and then secondly, I'd like you to uh, find what what value of a will uh, make f of x continuous. Okay. All right. All right. Let's start uh, off with question with the a part. We want to find the limit um, as x approaches 0 of the function, okay? Now, note we are approaching 0, okay? So, the function that um, excludes 0 is the function that we will consider. This function comes into play when x is equal to 0. When x is approaching 0 from both sides, x is not 0. So, that means we're going to be focusing our attention on this function right here, on the function on the top, okay? So basically, um, this limit is the limit as x approaches 0 of the upper function 1 over x plus 3 uh, minus 1 over 3 divided by x, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and uh, try substitution first to see if that works. If we run into any complications, we'll see uh, we'll consider what to do next, okay? So if I directly plug in 0 into the x's, I'll have 1 over 0 plus 3 minus 1 third over 0. And you find out that we end up with 0 over 0. That's undefined, okay? So how about we condense this numerical expression and see if we can reduce this in such a way that we eliminate the discontinuity that's caused by the problem. If not, then the limit does not exist, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and um, do it. So how do we condense these two fractions in the numerator? Well, we have to find the LCD, right? So I'll multiply this uh, fraction, this fractional term by x plus 3, top and bottom. And then on the right, I'll multiply this expression by 3, top and bottom. This is because the LCD of uh, x plus 3 and 3 is 3 times x plus 3. So the goal is to make the denominator is identical. All right, so now we're going to have the limit as x approaches 0 of 3 over um, 3 times x plus 3 minus uh, x plus 3 over 3 times x plus 3. Okay? And that whole expression divided by, divided by x. All right. So now let's uh, combine the numerator. In the numerator, we're going to have 3 uh, minus x. And then if you distribute this minus to this plus right here, it will be minus 3 over 3 times x plus 3 uh, divided by x. We're still taking the limit as x approaches 0. And then what you notice happening here is that um, these 3's uh, add up to 0. And you're left with, uh, let's write this as a limit as x approaches 0 of negative x over 3 times x plus 3. Now, this denominator, I can write it as x over 1, right? So now I can multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator, which is basically the same thing as dividing, okay? So it's going to be times 1 over x. All right, so... Uh, if you notice, this x is divided out. x goes here 1, x goes here 1. So you're going to have, um, let's write it over here, the limit as x approaches 0 of negative 1 over 
3 times x plus 3. Okay, now we can plug in the 0. We're going to have negative 1 over 3 times 0 plus 3, which is going to be uh, negative 1 over 9. All right, so that tells us that uh, that uh, this continuity was a removable discontinuity. Um, that's why the limit still exists even though the function is undefined at that point. Okay, so um, there, there goes your result. All right, so the answer for the A part is the limit as x approaches 0 of the function uh, is equal to negative 1 over 9. All right, now let's shift our attention to the B part. We know that there's a discontinuity, a removable discontinuity um, at x equals 0. So the B part of the question asks us what value of A will make the function continuous at, uh, will make the function continuous and the discontinuity is at x equals 0. So what we're going to do is we want to make this function attain the value of the limiting value of the uh, function on top, okay? So um, what's going on here is that we have um, a function on the left side <coughs> And on the right side, as, is a, is a, as it's approaching uh, zero, these two values are approaching negative one ninth, okay? So they are both approaching uh, negative one ninth, all right? But at this point, there's removable discontinuity. But we know that at this point where you have the removable discontinuity, there's a function that's operational there. So the goal is we want that function to attain the value that um, this function is approaching from both sides in order for it to fit in perfectly and make this uh, removable discontinuity go away, okay? So on the left side, we're dealing with the function one over x plus three minus one over three over x. On the right side, we're dealing with one over x plus three minus one over three over x. But at this point, we have a different function, okay? At, the, at this very point right here, we have the function 3a minus x. So if we can let this function attain an output of 1 ninth, then it's going to fill in this point perfectly and we'll have no discontinuity on the function. Okay? All right, so how do we do that? Well, it's pretty straightforward. So for the b part, to make the function continuous, let's write that down, to make uh, f of x continuous, what do we do? we just simply set um, the function 3a minus um, x to the limiting value, which is negative 1 9. Okay, we solve this for a, then that will tell us the value of a that will make the function continuous. At this point, what is the value of x? x is 0 because that's what the limit is approaching, right? x equals 0, or that's where the discontinuity is. So we're going to plug in the 0 there. So we have 3a minus 0 equals negative one nine. All right. And then let's solve this for A. We'll add zero to both sides and divide by three. Um, let's, let me shift that, do that over here. So basically what we'll have is um, three A equals negative one nine. And if you multiply both sides by one third, you have A equals negative one over 27. So the value of a that makes the function continuous is negative um, uh, 1 over 27. All right, so let's write down what that means. So to make, to make the function continuous, um, let's write out a complete sentence. To make f of x continuous, continuous, a, must be equal to negative 1 over 27. Okay, so when you plug that in here, that forces this expression to attain a value of negative 1 9, which is what the function was approaching when it was coming uh, from both sides. All right, so there goes uh, your final result for question B. All right, so how well did you get this example is the question. Now I'm going to give you a problem to try out and um, post your answer in the comment section below. Let me know what you what your answers are. To, so I can see if you really understood uh, this example or this, uh, yeah, this example I just did, okay? So try, try this. I want you to do uh, number two. If f of x 
is a piecewise defined function given by 4a minus x when x is not equal to 0 and uh, 1 over x plus 2 minus 1 over 2 over x when x is equal to 0. Let's put a comma there. Okay. Uh, part A. Find the limit as x approaches 0 of the function. And then B. Find the value of A. The value of A that makes the function continuous. Okay. It makes the function continuous. All right, so please uh, solve this problem, post your answer in the comment section, and um, so that I can know if you got it or, or not, okay? So there you have it. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here so you can get more cool clips that'll help you get ready for the AP Calculus exam. And also post a comment to tell me what your answer is to the try this problem, or to let me know about how well you understood the uh, explanation. Uh, you can also, Go to math.serp.com slash calculus to view more tutorials that can help you deepen your understanding of, uh, of limits, okay? And all you, you can just scan this QR code. It will take you directly to, to the website. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful day.